So, here's my Voyager on today's 3D print. I printing, I'm printing a larger Voyager, one that I can fit on the CR-10. Um, I can actually make this bigger, but my limitation is vertical height. The front half is maxed out, so this is as big as I can make the rear half. At first I thought, okay, you know, the nacelle must have fell over. No, it didn't fall over, as you can see. It, it just detached. And that happened because I was lazy and didn't check the filament roll properly. So, all of this was wrapped around this shaft here. And it actually lifted this box up off the ground and tipped it over. <laughs> yeah, that would explain that. The E10 is cranking away my nose cones. So let me show you those. This is using the... Uh, the natural clear filament and it's printing some awfully nice nose cones I mean they're they don't have the smooth finish of the ender nose cones but there's no defects they are very good I'm very happy with them so I have that thing set up to crank out three at a time it prints one then it prints the second one and now as you can see it's printing a third one there's enough of a build volume there to print um, three of them sequentially. And yesterday I started it and it printed one and then failed because the bed level was a little too low in the back and the it, it popped off. So I just had to tweak those knobs just the tiniest little bit and it was good to go. Um, a little sneak peek about stuff that's coming. That's all you get. That's all you get. You don't get no more. Ah. <laughs> what else? I still have these. If anybody wants them, you just pay the shipping and they're yours. These are all the little decorative things that were in the CR-10. So if somebody has an orange one or a black one and they want blue, they can have them. I don't need them. I um, thought you guys might get a kick out of this. I got one of my Kickstarters in. This is the Bit Bar. This thing is cool. It's titanium and it's a little it's a little pocket driver tool so it's got magnets that hold these little bits in and the bits just fit right into the end there you go and you have a little little tool and then you can pop them back inside and a magnet holds them in place and this is a push you push on this to expose them so you can take out whatever bit you want it's pretty cool I like it I love titanium stuff that was that was quite a while ago but ordered that it came in yesterday actually and it also comes with a little extension that um, allows you to get a little more reach nice leather um, pouch to hold it and I also bought the extension the ratcheting add-on which also comes in a nice little leather case so it's got a swivel head now you can, how do I do that? This way. So this can swivel and it ratchets. And, um, that's pretty cool. I like it. There it goes. I like finding cool stuff on Kickstarter to play with when I can afford it. <laughs> um, this Ender is still cranking out motor retention in different sizes. So, a couple sets a day, that one cranks out. Once I repair the power supply on that one, that one will be cranking them out too. And, um, that's it. Go from there. Having fun playing with the printers. Um, more to come later. Here's a close-up of the failed Voyager. This part here is all hollow. Doesn't need to be um, non-hollow because there's nothing it needs to support. The other half needs a little bit of infill for the deflector array, but that's it.